Welcome to Optimal Anesthesia, where we lay the foundation for your journey into the intricate world of anesthesia. Today, we explore the fundamental topic of the physiological stress response to surgery. Get ready to embark on an enlightening learning journey with us. It's crucial to grasp the intricate physiological changes that occur in a patient's body during surgery. These changes collectively form what we refer to as the stress response. This response can be broadly categorized into two main components, each with its unique set of effects and implications. This component of the stress response involves the activation of the neuroendocrine system and metabolic processes in the body when a patient undergoes surgery. When a patient is under anesthesia and during the surgical procedure, their body perceives surgery as a significant stressor. In response to this stress, the neuroendocrine system, which includes hormones like cortisol and catecholamines, such as adrenaline, is triggered. These hormones play a pivotal role in regulating various physiological processes. Cortisol, the body releases cortisol, often referred to as the stress hormone. It helps regulate metabolism, control inflammation, and manage the body's response to stress. Elevated cortisol levels during surgery can affect glucose metabolism and immune function. Adrenaline and other catecholamines are released in response to stress. They can increase heart rate, blood pressure, and alertness, preparing the body for a fight or flight response. Understanding the neuroendocrine metabolic response is crucial because it can impact patient care in several ways. 1. The release of catecholamines can affect heart rate and blood pressure, which is relevant when administering anesthesia and monitoring the patient's cardiovascular stability. 2. Elevated cortisol levels can lead to changes in glucose metabolism, which may affect the choice of anesthetic agents and blood glucose monitoring during surgery. This aspect of the stress response involves the activation of the immune and inflammatory systems during surgery. Surgery triggers a complex immune and inflammatory response. This response is the body's way of dealing with potential threats and repairing tissue damage caused by the surgical procedure. It involves the release of various signaling molecules and the recruitment of immune cells to the site of injury. Cytokines play a central role in inflammation and immune response. They can promote inflammation to help the body fight infection and repair damaged tissue. The immune system deploys white blood cells to the surgical site to control potential infections and aid in tissue repair. Impact on patients Understanding the inflammatory immune response is critical for anesthesia residents because it can influence patient outcomes and perioperative care. A heightened immune response is beneficial for wound healing but can also increase the risk of infection. Residents should be vigilant in monitoring for signs of infection in the postoperative period. Knowledge of the inflammatory response can guide the choice of anesthetic agents and pain management strategies, especially in patients with pre existing inflammatory conditions. As we conclude our exploration of the physiological stress response to surgery, remember that this knowledge forms the bedrock of your anesthesia practice. At Optimal Anesthesia, we're here to support your journey as you delve deeper into this fascinating field. Stay curious, keep learning, and excel in your role as anesthesia professionals.